Salutations, fellow scientists. My name is Alicia from the Tea and Innovation Program at the Connecticut Science Center. Today, we will be taking a look at the physical and chemical changes that occur during the making of a pizza. Pizza is surprisingly complicated when you think about it. From the rising of the dough, to the melting of the cheese, and everything in between. There's a lot of science going on. Today, I want to take you on a journey that starts in the pan and ends on our plate. First, we need to start with the most important part of the pizza, the dough. Pizza dough is made with quite a variety of different ingredients. Flour, salt, warm water, and yeast all come together to form the base of the pizza. Yeast is a collection of very tiny organisms that are always hungry. The warm water causes them to get energized and leads them to eating the sugars that are found in the flour. As they do this, the mixture of substances starts to rise because the organisms start to give off the gas called carbon dioxide as they eat. The gas makes the dough get bigger until it starts to rise towards the rim of the bowl. This is a chemical change because of the production of gas by the yeast, which happens as it breaks down the sugars into carbon dioxide and energy. Here we can see our dough slowly expanding over the course of an hour. Now that's just the dough. What other changes can we see in the making of pizza? Another chemical change happens with the tomato sauce. Tomatoes are naturally acidic, which can cause some digestive problems for people that eat the pizza. In order to counteract this, some pizza makers will add a small amount of baking soda into the tomato sauce. Baking soda is a base, which is the opposite of an acid. This creates a neutralization effect that causes the tomato's acidity to be less harmful. The base and acid will combine to release carbon dioxide, just like when the yeast eats the sugar. Pizza isn't pizza without cheese. After stretching out the dough and spreading the tomato sauce on, we'll add some mozzarella cheese onto our unbaked pizza. Mozzarella cheese is known by many as the best cheese to use for pizza. This is because of the calcium in the mozzarella. It helps keep the cheese stringy and gooey by keeping the protein bonds together. The moisture of the mozzarella also contributes to the way it reacts. A glue made of the calcium atoms holds the molecules together. When the cheese meets the heat of the oven, the calcium glue dissolves, which makes the molecules separate and the solid fat liquefy. In fresh cheese, the molecules are large and stringy, so that's why melted fresh mozzarella is stringy and perfect for pizza. Another big change that occurs happens in the oven. This is called the Maillard reaction. In this reaction, the sugars in the food start to react to the amino acids found in the pizza once the oven starts to heat up to over 284 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat energy from the oven is typically needed for the reaction to take place. Amino acids are what form proteins, which are found in all foods, especially the cheese on the pizza. This is a chemical change, as the color of parts of the pizza gets darker. The change in color is a sign of a chemical change. You can notice the little spots that are darker and harder on the cheese and dough. A very simple physical change occurs once the pizza is finished. Just cutting the pizza into slices is a physical change because it doesn't alter the chemical makeup of the pizza, unlike chemical reactions. Physical reactions only change the form or shape of something. When chopping tomatoes or tomato sauce or grating cheese to sprinkle onto the pizza, physical reactions are taking place. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this oh-so-good adventure with me. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at CSC Teens and check out the other videos from the Teen Innovation Program on the Connecticut Science Center website. Bye!